A Toronto actress and model who launched a multi-million dollar lawsuit against disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein is extremely fearful that she'll be stalked or befriended by his private investigators, court documents alleged. Jane Doe, who was in her 20s and starring in her first small movie role when she claimed he sexually assaulted her twice, said reports of private investigators hired by Weinstein in the past have caused a very real safety concern for Miss Doe. A report by a Scarborough crisis worker who treated her stated, The report bolsters Jane Doe's case to remain anonymous, her identity is now covered by a publication ban, but it also outlines her fears towards Weinstein in the aftermath of his sexual predator allegations. It certainly puts into question and displays behavior that goes to great lengths to silence the people he has, allegedly, sexually violated and attacked stated Andrea Victor, a clinical social worker with Scarborough Sexual Assault and Domestic Violence Care Center in a report dated November 23, 2017. The letter was filed as a court document. Recent events in the news exposing Mr. Weinstein's alleged stalking and sexual predatory behavior has understandably re-triggered a flood of traumatic impacts, the report added. Jane Doe has reported traumatic reactions that parallel the criteria dot 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 for post-traumatic stress disorder. She has lost a significant amount of weight since October 9, 2017 when the media exploded with allegations of Mr. Weinstein's alleged serial sexual predations, the letter stated. The physical impact has led to Jane Doe having great difficulty in maintaining breast milk production to feed her baby, the letter stated. Jane Doe has suffered nightmares, flashbacks, sadness, guilt, shame feelings of detachment from both herself and others. She is anxious, immensely hypervigilant and on high alert at all times. She cannot sleep nor does she have an appetite, stated the report. Equally concerning to Jane Doe is that no one is really sure where Mr. Weinstein is. Jane Doe is experiencing psychological distress while remaining anonymous, wrote Victor. If Jane Doe's identity were revealed, then her sense of control will spiral causing additional and irreparable emotional and physical harm, wrote Victor. Jane Doe's lawsuit alleged that Weinstein is a serial sexual predator who, by the time of the assaults on, Jane Doe, had well-developed methods for targeting young actresses and luring them into situations that he considered optimal for sexually harassing and assaulting them. According to her proposed statement of claim, Jane Doe said the famous movie mogul introduced himself on the Toronto set of his Miramax film when she was on her third and final day of filming and told her she looked like a famous actress in 2000. That actress is among the 60 women who have since accused the movie producer of misconduct, including sexual assault and rape. The lawsuit also alleges Jane Doe had a small, one-day role in another Miramax film about three years later. But while Weinstein continued to harass her from time to time, she never met him again. Doe is also suing Barbara Shaniwis, vice president of production and development of the film and television leg at the Weinstein Company, claiming she knew Weinstein preyed on women and had facilitated the attacks. She is also suing Miramax and its corporate owner at the time, the Walt Disney Company. None of the allegations have been proven, 